Welcome back hunters for episode 6 of Hunter's Notes. In this file we'll be covering a monster outside of the ancient forest for a change, and as per the other files, this monster will be returning in Monster Hunter Rise. So for this file we will be covering Jira Totus. It looks a little bit more difficult to pronounce than it really is. I do think that lends to this monster's name just being directly translated from the Japanese. Uh, now, it is basically a giant mud skipper combined with a coelacanth. They call it a Piscine Wyvern in the English version of the game that covers itself in mud to protect itself from the elements and it hunts in the water. Its in-game write-up reads a large Piscine Wyvern that inhabits the swamps of the Wildspire Waste. It uses mud to capture prey and it's known to battle other monsters over territory. Jiratotus has two special moves you need to watch out for. One of them is more frustrating than dangerous. First, it will spit hunks of mud at you. If you get in those mud blobs, you will become immobile or unable to move. The other thing is he will do a breach attack, like an orca whale jumping out of the water to catch a bird mid-air. This monster is very unique because its weaknesses change based on whether or not it's covered in mud. When it's covered in mud, it's weak to water. The water will wash off the mud. Uh, when it is no longer covered in mud, it's then weak to fire and thunder, and resistant to water, and vice versa for thunder and fire. Uh, it resists those when it's covered in mud. Another thing you can do is you can remove the mud off its body by shooting puddle pods at it, so I don't know if those are going to be in the new game, but if they are, that will definitely still work. Jurotodus is especially weak to stun damage, so if you do hit him with a hammer, or you hit him enough in the head, he stuns quite easily. Now, Jiratotus is not too difficult to fight, but you are going to encounter it in a waterlogged area, which means you will be affected by a debuff while moving through water, unless you bring skills to negate that. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this hunt here. We're going to catch this Jiratotus and bring it back for a fish tank back at home. Uh, as always, just stay tuned for after the little credits at the end here to see the weakness information from the Hunter's Notes. And I hope to see you next time in the next Hunter's Notes. Leave a follow if you liked this content and want to see more. And as always, good luck on your hunts. Have a great hunt.